Hi everybody, Ace of Hearts Fox here, and welcome to another Pursuit Friday video. So one thing I've noticed in the wild world of furry YouTube is that there are these videos out there where people will rant about stuff they don't like about the fandom, or they'll talk about some of their worst convention experiences. So I figured I'd contribute by sharing with you guys some of my favorite positive experiences in the fandom. So let's get started! The first story I want to share with you guys today is my first furry meetup. A lot of my friends had gone to furry conventions and to meetups before, but I hadn't been to anything. So one Saturday back in 2012, a friend gives me a phone call and says, Hey man, you should come to the park, there's furries and food and stuff. And I said, I like furries and food and stuff. So I kind of just went to my first meetup on a whim, and it ended up being a really huge meetup. I'm talking like a hundred plus people. And it was actually there that I met a lot of my first furry friends. I know it's a super simple memory, especially because it's pretty much just a phone call and me going to a park. But that was the first full day that I spent around furries, and I don't know, it was just really cool. And it actually leads me into my next story, the first time I fursuited. Fun fact, I'm incredibly shy sometimes, especially when I'm at a thing and I don't know anybody. So for the majority of the meetup, I kind of just kept to myself. I ate a little bit of food, talked to a few people, then kind of just sat down. My friend that called me to go to the meetup was actually trying out his new fursuit that day. It was a pretty standard looking fox fursuit, even with natural colors. So while he was taking a breather, he said, hey, you want to try on my fursuit? And I was like, I've never tried on a fursuit before. I think it made me feel a little less out of place in the setting that I was in at the time, but oh man, I had so much fun. I ended up running around in his suit for the rest of the entire day. I'm talking like hours of endless fursuiting. Man, I'm glad I didn't get dehydrated. But all of this took place during a kind of stressful portion of my life, so it was really cool to have some sort of outlet to express myself and feel good. And so my love for fursuiting was born. The next story I want to share with you guys is what I call my Welcome to Anthrocon story. Anthrocon was the first time I ever really traveled a super long distance for a convention. Like I had been to conventions in Colorado, but those I could drive to. Pennsylvania, not so much. Funny enough, it was also my first time meeting one of my online friends, Cyber, and he let us stay in his house for like one night before we ended up going to the convention hotel. But here's the thing, after a long day of traveling, flying, layovers, making sure we're on time, making sure our first don't get lost in the luggage. After all the hectic stuff of traveling to a convention, we finally arrived. So we got unpacked, cleaned ourselves up, and got our convention badges, and then we wandered around the convention center. We were wandering around aimlessly for a while, and then one of us suggested that we go to the roof. And boy, I'm, I'm glad we did. So we get to the roof of the convention center, and we look out on the city, and the lights are beautiful. And then we looked towards the baseball stadium, and I think a baseball game had just ended because fireworks went off, but it was just so beautiful. We just kind of sat up on the roof in complete silence and watched the fireworks. And then when we got towards the end of it, we just said, Hey guys, we're at Anthrocon. I don't know, that was just so cool to me because here we were in this place that we'd never been to before with people we'd never met before, trying all this new stuff, and it was all because we're just part of this interest that has anthropomorphic animal characters. So one of my all-time favorite convention memories is just sitting on the rooftop in Pittsburgh, watching the fireworks over the city. <sighs> so the next story I want to share with you guys is the first time I ever hosted a panel. I think it was Cali for about three or four years ago. So me and my friends decided to do a free YouTuber panel. The plan was to talk about video making and to share our content with people, maybe preview some videos. Pretty typical stuff, but the big thing was I had no idea what to expect in terms of hosting a panel. Like, I had literally never done this before. I remember we were so scared right before it started, and then we let people in, and the room filled up. Like, we actually had a line out the door. It was so cool. And at first, I thought I was going to be scared if a lot of people showed up, but it actually made me feel a lot more comfortable. Because, I mean, wow, if there's enough people that share that interest with me, I mean, how hard could this be? And it was so much fun. We all kind of just ended up talking till the end of the panel. I think what I cherish most about that memory is it was the first time I really interacted with people face to face that truly enjoyed something creative that I made. And to this day, interacting with you guys is still one of my absolute favorite parts of doing this. So thanks you guys! And the last story I want to share with you guys is the funny circumstances that got me my first fursuit. So as you might have guessed after my previous story talking about the first time I ever fursuited, I was hooked, so I definitely started saving up for one. I managed to save up a decent amount of money, but nothing that would particularly get me a high quality fursuit. But then I went to Califer in 2013, and would you know it, there was a raffle going Going on. That's right, at the time More For Less was doing a raffle. So while I was at their booth, they gave me some raffle tickets and I was on my merry way. 
To be perfectly honest, I kind of forgot about the raffle for the majority of the day till like the last second. And then we ran over to their booth, and the last stub on my string of tickets was the winner. So as long as I was getting a free head from them, I figured, hey, I might as well put the rest of the money I was saving in so I could get a partial. And so, Ace version 1 came into existence. That memory is extra special to me because performing in fursuit is kind of my main art form in the fandom. Like, I'll do some hand crafting and some 3D printed stuff, but this is where I really feel like I can express myself. So who knows, maybe my character would be completely different based off of what fursuit I could have gotten. Whatever those outcomes might be, I'm glad they turned out the way they did. So thanks again for watching today's Fursuit Friday video, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. Do you have any positive experiences that you'd want to share? Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I do read every single comment and I try to reply to as many as possible. And if you really enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit like and subscribe for new videos every week. And if you want to directly support the content that I produce on this channel, you can check out my merch store and Patreon links in the description box below. And speaking of patrons, I want to thank these lovely Patreon supporters for producing today's video. And I want to thank these lovely patrons for sponsoring today's video. Well, that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks again for watching, everybody. My name's Ace of Hearts Fox, and I will see you all in the next video. Pssh.